Okay, we are here at Heisman Hall in Columbus, Ohio, the Ohio State University, as you can see. Pioneer Football League. It's, we're talking trophies. Trophies are why we do this thing. And when you look around here, as you can see, nobody's in here. I'm not telling you the reason why. But when you look at the hardware, that's what we're about here at the Pioneer Football League. So when you see stuff like the National Championship Trophy, you know, it is a crowning achievement, you know. You may end up with one of these. Oop, let me get too close. Oop, let me get a little closer. Oop, oop. Yeah, you may end up with one of these. They're actually pretty nice, right? Um, so you might end up with one of these. And it's a crowning achievement for a championship. Rose Bowl game right here. That's the Rose Bowl trophy, Sugar Bowl trophy, the Fiesta Bowl trophy, which is kind of funky. Football on top, the cool old decor there. So, the hardware is what it's about. And the hardware is what we're about as the Pioneer Football League. We have one of the best trophies around, I gotta tell you. And as I sit here with the Big Ten Championship trophy, I gotta say that we're gonna continue that tradition the eight and unders had an awesome trophy, the Spring Classic, awesome trophy. It's heavy in its weight. So uh, again, as I go through these Big Ten trophies that are sitting here, uh, we're about to head out to Ohio State practice or what have you. So Pioneer Football League, who does stuff like this? going on me and the micro commission sitting here watching practice what practice are we watching we're in the uh Ohio State arena watching girls volleyball practice we are at the ohio state university football practice going on ohio state university football practice He looks pretty what? We are here at Lawrence University in Appleton, Wisconsin. Why are we here? Well, Commissioner Parrish has a close tie to this particular school. Uh, it's a very, very good academic Division III institution that uh, a gentleman by the name of Joseph Patterson, my dad, attended back in uh, 1970, graduate of class of 1970, and ended up becoming the uh, first and only draft pick out of this school to go to the National Football League with the Washington Redskins, Vince Lombardi's last draft pick. So, as they were making our rounds, Pioneer Football League, academics first, of course, and uh, the sports comes with it. As you can see, Michael Jordan, we're here at the United Center in Chicago. Um, we're here with the Micro Commission. We're talking about the greatest of all time. So, Pioneer Football, who would you put in the Hall of Fame for the Pioneer Football League? And out of those guys, who do you think would be considered to be the GOAT, the greatest out of those? You got a whole bunch of guys like Raphael Trammell, uh, championship game, two kick returns for touchdowns, big, big, big point in our history. You also got uh, got Lee. You got a whole bunch of guys. You got a, a young man uh, playing for the Harlem Jets that uh, definitely uh, could 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 make a name for himself 
on the next level where we look back in retrospect and say that that young man, uh, Deshaun, would, would get it. I don't know. So, something to consider, something uh, interesting to always think about. Who would be the greatest pioneer player of all time? It's not you, Fridge. Good try. The NCAA. This is their headquarters. We're in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, see, the NCAA does not have enough money to pay their athletes. However, all these floral arrangements, I'm doing some deep investigative work here. All these floral arrangements, landscaping, and really fancy, fancy stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Anyhow, uh, we're here at the NCAA. We're going to tie it into what we're doing at the Pioneer League. We have, from the start of this thing, put a whole bunch of kids in different schools across the nation. So we want to definitely take some time to recognize some of those guys who are participating in intercollegiate athletics across our nation. Make sure you check us out on our website, pioneer-league.com, and you can check their, their updates and see how they're doing in school and on the gridiron as well. I see. Huh. What do they put in there instead? A temp? Uh, something to do with, like, alcohol. They want to serve alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something, something temporary. Less <laughs> tickets, more booze. Yeah. I like it. Wow. All right. Huh, huh. Hey, what's up, both of us? <laughs> hey, how we doing? What's up, hey. man? <laughs> What's going on, man? How we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Purdue University. Okay, indoor practice facility. What else you got? Tackling dummies over there. I'm inside. I'm, I'm right here. I'm on the field. All right. Can I get? Can, can a brother get a wow? Is because uh, the mancation has been epic. It has been a absolute marathon of everything that is manly. So um, we're here at the University of Cincinnati. As you can see, I've been trying to get them to quiet down. They got this new extension that they're putting on uh, second deck onto the. I think that's the home side or what have you. So the Cincinnati Bearcats play here, and they're developing a, a, a program that really is going to compete in the. Uh, the realms of college football for some time to come. And when developing a top-notch program, you gotta do things like this. So, as we're discussing development and teams that are going to that next level, let's check out and talk about some teams that are trying to get to that next level. Well, when you talk about black and red, we're gonna talk about the Falcons, the Fordham Falcons, one of those teams that are setting the groundwork for a very successful program in the near future. Um, they're making some front office moves, they're doing things that uh, are essentially going to set the foundation for years to come. So Eugene and the guys over there, we want to applaud you guys and welcome you guys to the family and such and uh, we're going to have an awesome year. Okay, the Pulitzers, okay? So the editors, sports editors, they took the four horsemen of Notre Dame right again. And that was the article by Grant Lund Rice, and then they had a picture with the article. And I don't know where I'll be then, Ron, but I'll know about it and I'll be here. And the last thing Rocky said was in a real calm voice. We are here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the Athletic Hall of Fame for Milwaukee. And uh, as we walk through and see some of the names on this distinguished list, and uh, ask you guys at home to vote on who you think should be in the Pioneer Hall of Fame. So that's one of the things that we have coming down the pipe. A lot of exciting things, Pioneer Football League. 